The Fox and the Mask, a fable by the ancient Greek storyteller Aesop. This presentation includes an analysis of the fable and follows the fair use rules of the United States copyright law. Any questions will be welcome at the end. A fox entered the house of an actor, and rummaging through all his properties, came upon a mask, an admirable imitation of a human head. He placed his paws on it and said, What a beautiful head! Yet it is of no value, as it entirely lacks brains. The moral of this fable is clear. Brains are more important than beauty. The fox specifically says, of no value, implying that beauty can be appreciated and admired, but it is not useful. Aesop himself could have related to this fable. Traditionally known as a disfigured, ugly slave, he used cleverness to gain freedom. Another moral could be found in this story. Outer cover does not equal inner worth. Comparable to the popular saying, never judge a book by its cover. Although the mask was a beautiful imitation of a face, it was not a face, a fact that could have been misconstrued by some animals. Similar to Aesop's other fables, the main character in this story is a fox, viewed in literature as a curious, clever creature. Unlike the other fables, however, this fox does not directly interact with other animals or man, but instead comments on an object. It is interesting to ponder how the fox came across this profound insight. Some animals are exceptionally beautiful, but if they do not gather wisdom and gain useful skills, they become easy prey. As a predator, the fox could have taken advantage of this flaw in the past. The mask itself raises some questions. Why did Aesop use a mask instead of another piece of art, like a sculpture or painting, or even use another creature as the object of scrutiny? Since masks cover the true identity of the wearer, it could symbolize attempts at fake beauty that people only wear, such as makeup. The only other character in the story is the actor, unseen and unheard. It is interesting to wonder why Aesop did not include the man in the fable. However, the distance from man seems to make a greater effect, such as when reading Bambi by Felix Salton. It is unreasonable to label the fox as a hero in this fable. Instead, the fox reveals an important characteristic of heroes. It describes a crucial and valued quality of a hero. The gift of wisdom, intelligence, and cleverness. It is this important factor, brains, that cause heroes to remain in our literature and culture. The ancient Greek hero Theseus used wisdom and cleverness to escape from the labyrinth after slaying the Minotaur. He is still remembered in modern times because of his brains. Another ancient example comes from Homer. Odysseus, a legendary Greek king of Ithaca, is most famous because of his cleverness during the Trojan War. He devised a strategy that would allow the Greeks to enter the city of Troy. His famous, clever Trojan horse is still well known today. These heroes have something in common. They both use their brains. The fox claimed that only brains are valuable, and beauty is not. Theseus and Odysseus used wisdom, cleverness, and quick thinking to come out victorious. They would have failed without their brains. It is not only heroes that can relate to Aesop's fable. Great men throughout history are remembered for their brains, not their beauty. Intellectual contributions to society are valued throughout cultures and across time, regardless of the physical beauty of the contributors. One of the greatest scientists of the ancient world was Archimedes. He made monumental advances in physics, mathematics, engineering, and other fields. He is most famous for discovering a method for determining the volume of an irregular shaped object. No record of his physical beauty exists. Albert Einstein was a theoretical physicist and is still a common household name. His greatest achievement was his theory of general relativity. 
He is often regarded as the founder of modern physics. Einstein used his brains, not beauty, to construct his legacy. When most people think of actors, masks, or theater, William Shakespeare comes to their mind. Regarded as the greatest writer in the English language, his dramas and poems are filled with ingenuity and spontaneity. These examples further support the fox's claim. Our kidneys of the ancient world, and Einstein and Shakespeare of a more contemporary time, are remembered as valuable members to humanity because of their extreme intelligence. Like most of Aesop's famous fables, the fox in the mask is relevant to culture today. It is a simple, short story parents would tell their children, so future generations will value wisdom over physical appearance. It is also important to remember the second possible moral of this fable, that not everything is as it seems. There are hidden meanings to everything, and, like a curious fox, we must ponder them and discover their true identity. The lessons learned from this fable were valuable in Aesop's time and are still essential today. In a culture focused on physical beauty, Stories such as this remind us that it is the mind that matters most of all.